Well, I became a dentist, um, you know, because of the fact I, I wanted to be in medicine. And uh, like many people that get in a dental field, they're good with their hands. Um, I, I was a general dentist uh, for several years, and then I decided that um, periodontics was a better fit because um, I would, had more impact on people's health and well-being um, as, as we know that the gums are very influential in overall health. So I, I found that that was my area of interest and uh, I pursued it and uh, I've been very happy with that, being able to help people become more healthy. Well, as a periodontist, uh, we're looking at anything that supports uh, the teeth. So that includes the gum structure, the bone structure, um, you know, the way people are, are, are biting, that type of thing, the whole system of chewing. Um, so we specialize in any procedures that will bring the gums and bone back to health, uh, including gum grafting, bone grafting. Um, in some cases when patients have lost their teeth, um, we will uh, you know, plan for implants uh, to replace the missing root structure so that the dentist can uh, provide a crown on top. So anything that is really to do with the supporting structures to teeth. Yeah, I guess the best times uh, that I've had in my career are to see patients uh, becoming healthier and mm -hmm. happy that uh, you know, you're impacting their smile uh, with some of the cosmetic procedures that we do. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's very nice to see a young person who's been very uh, self-conscious about their smile uh, to, to change completely almost overnight when you, uh, you show more of their, their beautiful teeth after orthodontics or we provide someone with a tooth that they've, with a dental implant and they've been missing for many years and they're able to chew and function uh, more normally and feel more complete. Uh, so those are some of the better times that I've had. The most important thing is that patients are responsible for their choices um, and in order to do that they need to become educated. Um, many times I feel that patients come, in, come into my office and they, they don't have enough information to make an informed decision. So we spend a lot of time educating the patient um, and giving them you know, the real understanding for why things are necessary and then allowing them to choose uh, what's best for them. Um, I find that that gives them a sense of control over their treatment and they're also a partner in the care which uh, helps tremendously uh, you know, in, in allowing them to, to, to achieve health.